Hello, I'm Janet Chaplin and welcome to my studio. Um, as you can see, I've got some paintings on the go. Um, this is of Lantoni Abbey um, and I'll take you through and I'll show you a few different things I've got going at the moment. Um, I usually paint in oils for the, on the canvases. Um, it takes a little while to dry so I have to put a, put a layer on, let it dry, put another layer and let it dry. Um, I also paint in uh, mixed media and I've got a little painting of, um, of one of my favourite beaches, Broadhaven South and there's a rock in the centre. It doesn't look brilliant at the moment but I am just putting layers on and as you can see that I've started to use um, inks and salt in his inks and then I'll put a layer of oil on top as well. But if you can look, you can see how I try to be quite accurate when I sketch out um, the rocks and things. But then I soon start to take over with getting the colours down and getting, getting the texture and the atmosphere down. Okay, so I'll take you across over to here so you can see uh, my work in progress. That's brilliant. This is of Lantoni Abbey and when I do a commission or when I do um, a large painting I generally do two, one on a smaller canvas um, and this helps me get the composition right um, and it also helps me with the colours and with some ideas that I might have. So I work on them together, um, you know I may just switch and change. I'm quite liking what's going on down here um, with sort of scratching into the into the oils. Um, as of here, I've not quite got that same same feel. Um, so I'm at the point where halfway point where I'm thinking, you know, what am I going to do? It may this one may change completely, um, but I'm quite happy with the composition of this one, and I'm quite happy with some of the marks I've started to started to get. Uh, moving across to this one, and this one is in oils again and I have been working on this one for quite some time, at least a, a year and a half now. Um, and I think I've got the sky right, I think I'm happy with the sky. I'm not quite sure about what's going on here. I think the marks in the foreground need to be bigger and the marks in the in the background need to be smaller so I've got that sense of depth okay so that's one that I'm sort of mulling over at the moment um, I often work on boards uh, these these Tintoretto boards and these are really lovely um, I use inks on these and I sometimes use gesso to get that sky um, but again this is one in the studio so it, I'm not quite sure if I finished it or not but I have quite a few of these in a nice set um, that I've been putting on my Etsy site and I've been exhibiting so the last time they were exhibited was in Anglesey over Christmas. Um, there's another one here of local scene this is of the Skirid. Again it's in the studio so may not be quite finished um, but again as you can see I'm laying up the salt with the inks um, and these are inks again it's on a it's on a board so <clears throat> as opposed to exhibitions I've got an exhibition coming up in Picton Castle where I've been working on some larger paintings done of the gardens um, when I was there last year I had an exhibition in the summer last year of my seascapes and I was invited back to do the gardens um, this year so that the, the largest canvases I've got, I'll just take you over to here. Sorry about the dodgy. My dodgy, if I just put that down there. Okay, so the largest canvases I've got are this size here. I'll just pull one out. All right. There we 
pocket and you can see how big it is because it fit in the studio so there we go that's what I'm working on at the moment um, and I've got two of these in size so they're going to be like a one beside the other so these are in oils so again it's been taking quite a while to to get to get them finished um, not quite sure at the moment whether they are finished um, I may want to do a few more details especially around about these leaves here and they're based on gunners they've got a massive gunner patch at Picton Castle and uh, that's really good so there's my oil paintings this is my studio it's a bit crowded because I've got quite a lot of paintings here but I also do my ink paintings as well so this is my desk that I work on okay and as you can see these are all my acrylic inks um, and I do use these makeup sponges quite a lot so that's quite interesting um, and if you have a look on my my Facebook and Instagram you'll see quite a lot of examples of my ink paintings um, one little one that I've been experimenting with is this one here so again I found this frame so this is a recycled frame I've painted it in nice Pays grey and I have been using inks and a little bit of wax if I turn it to that way you can't see but I can it's quite uh, it's quite textured so I've been using wax on top of that and then painting over the top so that is on watercolor paper and I'm thinking of some way in which I can get it into the frame okay so that's things I experiment with I experiment with quite a lot of different things um, I'm always interested in how the media interacts with each other so it could be the oil paint over the top of acrylic and it might just crack a little bit because of the, the chemical makeup of the paints um, but yeah that's how that's how I work and I hope you really like what I've do and if you've got any questions please do you know try to contact me on Facebook Instagram I've got an Etsy site um, I belong to Made in Monmouthshire um, and my work is at the Makers in Krakow I've got some work in Inspired Gallery um, at Craft Renaissance uh, Stitching Time there's quite a few places around this area that I do sell out of. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.